Hi, this is Sudhi, and I welcome you back to this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Start Pro. So far, we had learned how to use the equations of equilibrium to solve the reactions of the structure manually, and we have also learned about how to interpret the results of reactions from within Start Pro. Today, we will discuss another topic on the equation of conditions. But before we discuss further on this particular topic, please do take a moment to hit the subscribe button to join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with Start Pro. Those who are with me for some time and you are deriving value out of this channel, please do hit the like button. So far, we have calculated the reactions of these types of structures that you see on the screen. The common point between all the structures that you see here is that they are made of one single rigid body. And if the structures of such type, which has one single rigid body, are statically determinate, then we can use these equations of equilibrium to solve for the structural reactions. However, there are structures which are made by assembling different rigid bodies. That is, those structures contain multiple rigid bodies instead of a single rigid body and which are connected in some way. For example, in this case, we have two rigid parts, part one and part two, and which are connected by some connection, which we call as a hinge connection. We will explain what a hinge connection is and we make it the structure for which is intended to carry some special type of loads. Now, to lend stability to this structure, we add supports. Now, in this particular structure, we have three nodes or three joints. Joint A has a pin support, joint C has a pin support, and joint B connects both the different parts using a hinge connection. A hinge connection is something that allows rotation at that particular point between different rigid parts. Now, to solve for the reaction of this particular structure, we can use the same three equations of equilibrium that we know, that is summation of fx equal to zero, summation of fy equal to zero, and summation of mz equal to zero. But in this case, we have an additional condition for a hinge connection which is the algebraic sum of the moments of the loads and reaction applied to any one such portion of the structure taken about an axis to the center of the hinge pin must be equal to zero. Now, let me try and explain this in some details. But before we go forward, let me consider some load and reactions on this particular structure. Now, since both the supports at joints A and joint C are pinned, we have both the vertical and horizontal reaction that develops as a reaction to the particular load. Now, the reactions has been considered in their positive direction with respect to the global axis system. Now, let us take only one portion of the structure, that is one part of the structure or one rigid portion of the structure and let us take AB as that part. Now, what we see here is the load that is applied on AB part and the reactions that are applicable on AB part. Now, for the structure, for the whole structure to be in equilibrium, this part AB must be in equilibrium. Now, remember that we have a hinge connection at joint B, which would mean that the part one of this particular structure that we are considering is free to rotate about hinge B. So for the equilibrium of the structure, it is absolutely important that the moments about point B because of the loads and the reaction on this part is zero. So how do we calculate the moments? We have to calculate the moment about the axis through the center of the hinge pin. Now, taking the moments about this particular axis 
of all the loads and reaction on this particular part, we have to set the condition that summation of moments of all these loads and reaction about point B would be equal to zero. Now this is one additional condition that we get in addition to the use of the equations of equilibrium. Now I would like to make some comments on the degree of indeterminacy of this particular structure and also on the stability of the structure further also on the use of equations of equilibrium. Now to understand the discussion on stability it is absolutely important that you revisit the session where I have discussed the degree of indeterminacy and on stability of structures in details and the link of that particular session is appearing on the top right of your screen right now. Unless you see that session, you won't be able to understand the comments that I'm making here. Now, on the first look at this particular structure, we would see that support A and support C are pin support, which means that there are four unknown reactions. And considering that we have three equations of equilibrium, we would like to think that this particular structure is indeterminate to degree one. However, this is a perfectly determinate structure. The reason being that in addition to the three equations of equilibrium, we also have one additional equation of condition that is given by the hinge connection in this particular structure. And thus, though we have four unknown reactions, we also have four equations to solve for those unknown reactions. So this is a perfectly determinate structure. Now, since this is a perfectly determinate structure, this also means that this structure is just stable. And that would mean that if we remove any one of the reactions from this particular structure, for example, if we make one pin support as a roller support, then this structure would become instable. Now, there is another comment that I would like to make on the use of equations of equilibrium. Now, we have had a detailed discussion on the use of equations of equilibrium to solve for the reactions in the past. We had a three episode discussion on this and to view the first part of those sessions, you can click on the link that is appearing on the screen right now. If you don't see that discussion, you might not be able to understand the comments that I'm trying to make here. Now, in this case, what we have considered is we have considered the two different parts of the structure that we have considered, or the two different rigid parts of the structure that we have considered. And we can see that we can take the moments of each part of the structure about point P to be zero. In addition, we also can take the moment of the whole structure about B to be zero from the equations of equilibrium. So are there then five equations that we can use to solve for these four reactions? Actually, no, because the summation of mb equal to zero, which applies to the whole structure, comes from the equations of equilibrium. And summation of mb for part one equal to zero comes from the equation of condition. And summation of part two equal to zero also comes from the equation of condition from part two. But the important thing to understand here is that if you consider summation of mb equal to zero and summation of mb for part one equal to zero, then you automatically include the consideration of summation of mb for part two equal to zero. So this third equation is not an independent equation if you consider the first two equations as independent equations. On the other hand, if you consider the second and the third equations to be independent equation, then 
the first equation is not an independent equation because that is automatically considered in this particular two equations. Similarly, if you consider the first and the third equations to be independent conditions, then the second equation is not an independent condition. And considering the first and the third, you automatically consider the second equation. So in actuality, there are only four equations of equilibrium and you have only four reactions to solve for. So this is a perfectly statically determinate structure and is also stable. I hope you have enjoyed the session today. If you have, please do hit the like button and please do join me in the next session. Till then, bye-bye.